Because sometimes you think like, we have families and we have friends, but then you feel like sometimes even our families might not really understand. And when you're going through with like some hardship and your family knows you're strong, they will just be like, like my family would be like, at a fifty a Yeah. And you need the what are you crying for? Like you can't do this on your own. Uh. Hello and welcome to another episode of Cradle Lab by Grace Sekirapa. Today on the show, I have an incredible guest. I have people who you love, you follow, you uh, you know, you've looked at them online as they are uh, parents to their children and you celebrate them. So today I have them on the show to come and tell us just how they do it. So please help me welcome uh, the one and only Corazor and Tatiana, aka Mama Olive. You talked about something what happened in your show's tomorrow. Yes, um, so when, when it was two months, I ended up now just finding myself, in, it's just me and my kids. It was, I just, it's a time of my life that I never want to. Oh, you mean you're a single mom? Well, then, like, I was just alone, we had just broken up. It's a time of my life that I went through so much that sometimes I just don't want to look back. Because I used to cry almost every night. Every night, and they would cry, like... I would cry. No, she would cry, but she was so de distressed. And Taita would start crying because she's crying. And then we all start crying. Like it was just. Uh, and I think she, they pick on you know they pick on your energy. Yeah, that's the hardest thing about having kids because you can't like you have you can be sad and it's also good to show them emotions, but you can't, you also have to pick yourself up. You you aren't allowed to move. Yeah, be to a crumble. Kid. Yeah, you can't crumble. And that is so hard because you crumble. They crumble. They crumble, yeah. And that's the, like the worst fear of a parent, right? I can imagine you seeing them crying. It must be heartbreaking. Yes, yes it, it's very heartbreaking. And then you're at a point where you don't even know, what do I do? Um, well, how do I handle this? And you know, the worst thing, the worst thing I think during that time of my life is I had a day nanny. I don't know how crazy I was. You? I had a day nanny. So, so by the way, she leaves and it's now me, my thoughts and my babies. So it was really even the bad. But then eventually I got... I stay in nanny and she was really good. So things started like looking up. She would really like understand and just really help me. She was very empathetic of the situation. Okay. And things kind of just got easier. So you also had to allow yourself to be vulnerable to, to get help. Yes, even to my nanny. Yeah, you to any, literally to anyone. Yeah. You can imagine. Yeah. So I had to just allow myself to just feel everything, go through everything, figure out everything. Then I came out, I can say I came out really, really strong. Yeah. And I'm sure, I mean, the world is so unfair and, and very crazy because I know that's around the same time that was, I think the news broke about you guys. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You break your ass. And social media was not easy. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't easy for, for, in fact, for both of, for like both parties because things happen between adults, you know? And it was like attacks on this side, attacks on this side. Oh, karma. So Nobody didn't care they have a baby. I mean, how come? <laughs> How they bad know, people they don't know what you're dealing with yeah. behind, you know, social media. And even like people, people tell me, like sometimes people ask me, like, why did you have to go to social media to, you know, tell people, like open yourself up for like all these attacks. And you're just like, what was I supposed to be? Sometimes, you know, you're at a point where you feel like no one is really understanding. And then you look for that attention. It's true. You look for that attention in social media, hoping that someone will kind of reach out or the right person will hear him when reach out. It's just a cry for help. It's, it's a cry for help. But people don't really, they think that, okay, because you're popular, you have to like have it all together. You have to be very tired. You're looking for attention. Yes, you are. But it's because you really don't know what else to be. I think we should really, <laughs> should really word that to connection rather than you're attention. Not attention. You're looking for a connection. You're looking to reach out to maybe just hoping that the right person will hear your cry for help. They reach out. And kind of just hold your hand, yes. 
Dad, we're not the steel, eh? We're not made of steel. <laughs> we, especially if you're doing it alone, I feel like you, you just look for anybody to, like, understand. Even one. Like, just, just one the pass on. Just one pass on. Because sometimes you feel like, we have families and we have friends, but then you feel like, sometimes even our families might not really understand. And when you're going through with, like, some hardship and your family knows you're strong, they will just be like, like, my family would be like, Atafiti adodesha. Yeah. Ninibi, what are you crying for? Like, you can't do this on your own, you know. That's so fair. That's so fair. Yeah, I'm listening to you, and I, I don't know if you're, you feel okay sharing that. I know you're so single mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're okay. I mean, that's not, that's not why I'm crying. Actually, <laughs> it is, though, because at the end of the day, like, I, the most of the time, just like, I'm so angry at the fact that I have to do it on an yes. And that's just the hard part. Like, you're sick, and like, everybody's sick, but you're the one doing everything, and like, there's no one to help you through. Like any responsibility, like yeah. that's like for me the hardest part. Where I think I just get so overwhelmed yeah. that like just every day I just have to let it out because it's just like and I don't know. And like you're saying, like you're looking for that connection, and I think that's also why I share a lot because it, there's so many people on there who are going through similar things, and they're able to like connect with you and yeah. you know you're able to feel like you're not a you're not tired. So yeah, and as much as yeah, as you're saying, like it feels weird just sharing with all these people, but yeah, it's just like you. What else can you do in your? I I feel sometimes I feel helpless. Yes. Like I don't know what to be with. yeah and you kind of like even me sharing online i was able to get like amazing friends that we have strangers but you've become friends because yeah. they were going to it's funny that you 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 might think like this specific moment it's only me going you, like oh well, if someone else is going through it maybe their kids are older or something no you find people that are in the same exact copyright situation as what you're going through and it feels good to just you know have that support. It's amazing how we actually get more help from strangers than from people who are around. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because like you're saying, um, people from your family be like, oh, she's strong enough, she can handle. Or maybe she got herself into that. She was young. Yes. Okay. The judgment, but actually comes from people from her own. Yes. 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 It's yeah. a us. Yeah. And then again, it happens that maybe even now, the strangers, that's why you have groups of people who come uh, anonymous to just sit down and share because I will understand you more without knowing you personally, be yeah. that I can identify with what you're going through. Yeah. And so that brings me to the place of support system. Uh, but maybe for you as a, as a mom of three guys, um, from, the, from the point of, you know, I have to go and cry that I come back and face these children again. How are you able to now maintain that sanity when around them? Do you have a support system? I have, yeah. So I have, my family is very supportive and even the girl's dad's, um, parents are really supportive so like I have people around me my dad is literally at my house every single day I've said um, that already. yeah <laughs> he's amazing I think they know it but it's like they're always playing with him. yeah they really love him and uh like my sister and my mom like I have a really great support system and I think but I think you even mentioned as much as there are people around you even my friends like I have some best friends like my closest friends that are always there for me if I need but even then, it's just, it's like, it's something that people can't understand unless, unless they're, they've been through it. So like, yes. yeah, none of my friends have kids. None of my friends are like a single mob, you know? So I think as much as they give great advice and they want to be there for me, it's just like, it's not the same. I don't feel like no one can really understand what I'm saying. And then even my family, I don't really talk to them about like sometimes my situation because I never want them to judge here. My girl's dad was like, I've never got to, you're never going to hear me bad mouthing anybody or, you know, that's something... I never want like that to be friction here for the sake of my kids. So yeah, that's why it's so advice for me to talk to strangers see, rather than people around me. So as much as they're there to help me out, like it's still very lonely. I, I feel like, yeah. Maybe as a single mom, do you have, do you ever get scared about the future? Yeah, I, I'm I thinking guess, about yeah, girls and, and you know, them not going, you know, growing up around their dad. Yeah, all the time. In fact, like my daughter has even said things, sorry, it's just here now, you my daughter's even said things like, you know, if you, if you leave, then no one, like, like, you know, like, for example, at school, like, if you don't, what if you don't come back to me? Like, what if you drop me and you don't come back? Or like, if you die, like, then will I have anyone who loves it? Yeah. I'm like, I'm just, no, it's, it's hard. I, I feel bad. Like I was saying, I don't cry about that because I don't have any feelings there, but I feel bad about because of my kids. Or your kids. Yeah. Like my kids just are going through a hard time, especially my older ones. So it's been difficult. And I just feel like if I, if I do pass away like who are they with? like that's you know so I do worry about that all the time but, but I'm trying to just live in the moment I feel like yeah. everyone has those things of like worry like I was talking to you about the stairs I can't <laughs> go anywhere without thinking somebody's <laughs> going to die some way you know like it's not better well yeah 
Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a bit hard, but yeah. How, at what point has that got, child got into that she asks you, uh, tells you that if you done, you could tip her? Yeah, you know, I'm just like, there's so many people around you who love you, but I guess, you know, it's hard once, yeah, when somebody kneeling, so then I don't know what she's going to do. As a get your old, the loss of what, how to they, it, it, that's exactly why, that's why she asked me these questions. So, you know, it's been a year now and I think to her, she's just not dealing with it well. Like we went through a period the last year where she was really like, she was so mean to these kids over a weekend, like the entire weekend just bullying these kids. And I really couldn't understand, like I was so personally embarrassed to be in that situation. And I was so angry, like how could you grab what is going on? And then, you know, it's like a kid and just, they don't know how to explain themselves. They don't know how to tell you if they're going through something rough, you know? and. Yeah, she, it's it's hard to see my kids go through that. Gosh, you know, I, I mean, I, I we were raised by my dad, the three of us, after my mom died, and and I had that thought constantly in my head as a child. Yeah, like, what if my dad dies? Was that a scary but you know? <laughs> so now imagining the place where your daughter is. How did you like? Get, get over the had we had each other i think the board group and you know like really strong yeah uh, with your siblings yes we we would be we only know each other <laughs> like not nothing's gonna change my love is a promise out there daddy's there but hunt Aaron. Uh, but if anything happens to dad so be okay because we got each other so but i'm, I'm just my heart is breaking because i can't imagine a six-year-old asking this yeah i know that's just, that's really been that's been quite tough for her and for you, Corazon, do you ever, I never want your situation is now, but do you ever think, like, when you were in that state when you were lower, did you wonder what would happen to your children, how they would be able to hack as a single law? Somehow I knew I was going to be fine. I, I, I don't think I ever worried about them. Somehow, like, in the chaos and in the pain and the whatever was happening, I knew they were going to be fine and I knew I was going to hide. I knew it was just a matter of time. So I allowed, I allowed myself to actually just go through everything. Just like, I lived it down. I was like, okay, being labeled crazy or whatever, because I knew it's going to be fine. This will pass. I just like, have to, yeah, I just have to go through this. So I never did really you. Yeah. You know, they would be crazy. Yeah, this, 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 this really was so a bit to me. <laughs> this whole episode. <laughs> Do you know why it's that's so we it it's liberates and because I know a lot of single moms who who've had to juggle millions of things, millions of things to just get that food on that table for their children. And also be able to also think about the mental uh, you know, health of their own children because in theirs. And there is like like you said, if you crumble, the same is all pass. So they've had to figure out a face every morning, go to work, you know, leave the nanny with the children, even though you know your heart is breaking yeah. and you want to just... I had people write to me and, and ask me, how am I supposed to leave my three months old yeah. and go to work? And I have to go. And have to go to work. Because if I don't, this way we will not have clothes, this way we will not have food. And honestly, for some reason, I just thought, this world is unfair <laughs> somehow. It feels... Because, I mean, that mom is going through enough as it is, yeah. With all the body changes and all, everything that has happened to you as about the hormonal changes, and then now you have to be your child, and we go go back to work, and you're a singer, you know. So that's why I mean, don't don't shy away from sharing. I feel like somebody else would be liberated. Like you said, if you think you're the only one going through it, wait until you share it, and then hundreds of other people come out there. Yeah, and, and then you see, you realize about the law. Wow. And I'm so Haley. What did you say as we wind up? I'm only. <laughs> Oh, would I say, ooh, yeah. this mom was looking at you and saying, thank you for uh, being possible. Uh I didn't think you, you know, I saw you on social media. I thought you were this mama, you're this superhero. Oh, but now I'm listening to you and I'm thinking, wow. Yeah, no, it's tough. I mean, like, I don't think any mother has it easy. Like, I, kn I even know mothers who are in relationships who are like, I'm just a single, <laughs> just a single <laughs> one. Very well, <laughs> yeah, like I'm a single mama in the, yeah. Um, and I think motherhood is just so challenging, but I, I feel like finding the right support system is important. Like even online, you know, like the community you surround yourself with, the people that you follow, like it's very important to be able to, you know, just know that no one is perfect. And if somebody presents that way, I feel like it's just detrimental to our health. Like we just need to be surrounded by people who are honest, real, vulnerable, 
people who are supportive, find the then group of friends of those like that family members and lean on them when you need that support. Like I think you were saying that you're able to, you know, lean on on people. Oh, be, like, yeah. And I think that's so important because as moms like we keep it all to ourselves and we just like we it's okay to yeah, to be vulnerable and to lean on somebody for support when you need that help because yeah, our mental health is the most important thing. Yeah. I don't know what <laughs> And then so many things I, I would, you know, like, maybe we should write a book then. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a chapter. <laughs> There's a lot. I think motherhood is just the hardest thing we'll ever go through. There's no manual, as you know. Um, and just take it one day at a time. Give yourself grace. All of those, like, cliche things that we hear are so true. Because if we don't give ourselves grace, I don't know. I, personally, I wouldn't be able to be the mom that I am today if I didn't give myself grace and forgive myself and... You know, know that we are able to repair as well. Like one bad day doesn't mean that we're a bad mom. Yeah. Just to rem- remind yourself that. Yeah. Um, every day is a new chance to like maybe mend your relationship, apologize to your kids, um, you know, do better. You know, and apologize to you. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. I have to do that all the time because there are days I lose my shit and I'm just like, what kind of person I? And I expect them to have good behavior. And how would I expect that if I'm the one there just being like a maniac? That's true. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not like that. I mean, I, I had an incident where I, I was I was sleeping and Jasmine was kicking me. And I'm, I'm like, I'm really sleepy. Can you stop kicking me? She's, she's, she doesn't want to be, she wants to be held. Yeah. Well, they are pushing you. So I really, I slapped her feet and then she slept after she donated. And then after she slept away. Hey, this is last night, guys. This is last night. Because I'm like, I have a short and what we can be sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually she slept, but I had slapped her. And then I, I started crying to myself. And I'm, Why did I beat my baby? She didn't do anything. She didn't even know what she was doing. Because I put, picked her from her room and we slept with her because I didn't want to go on and off. Yeah. But I have an early morning, guys. Yeah. Don't judge yourself. It happened. I think every mom has once in a while done something. Because sometimes even my son is very, like, playful. He would come and even throw a glass on your feet. You just find yourself bad. We seen you or something. Very less gently because you'll always have that mom thing. But it happens. You don't judge yourself. You just... Especially guess, when you're tired, which is why. When you're tired. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah. Just, just, just go, go to sleep. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. So, so I think, think yeah, keeping your yeah, yeah, I, I think, think that's, that's, that's very important. That's very important. Like, like constantly, constantly talking, talking to yourself and telling yourself, yourself it's okay. okay. So I, I think it's yourself need grace. grace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even yeah, me, yeah, I, I need, need to do that. that. Yeah. Well, yeah. hello. It's a big 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 I mean, all my mothers who sit at the back of their of their laptops or computers and just insult at the moms. You know, you know, I mean, I, mean, I, I feel, feel, I feel bad, bad because, because I've seen that. that. I saw that for you. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm like, she's, she's just giving about that. Man. Yeah. I didn't I know, know you person and then so yes. Yeah. But, but I, I could see it. Yeah, this is, is, and then, then again, again the, the, those, you know, attacks on you and your children. I'm thinking, this is not have nothing there. They're just, they were just born. Yeah. No, the circumstances between the parents are not supposed to be now laid down on their children. Maybe so, who you, after what you expect, really what would you say? I would say, okay, I don't want to really like focus on that, the negative, but I've gotten a lot of love, support, support from moms that follow me on my page. Um, when it comes to, sorry, I've lost my, yeah, I got a lot of support. The moms that judged um, other moms, I just really, really believe that they have their own situation here, that they're dealing with, they're not happy, and I just wish them happiness because there's no mom on this earth. he be okay in her situation and still attack another mom because we all know how challenging it is. Yes. So I'll just focus on the numerous millions of love and support that I get from the moms on mine. That's so amazing. You know, I can't do that. Like I will focus on those bad comments. Like also somebody the other day wrote to me something as well. I had a question box and they were like, you suck. And I was like, wow, that's harsh. And then she's like, oh, sorry, I was going through a bad day. And I was like, are you mad? That, that's what they do. They go through a bad day. They, let me tell you, I've got a DM of a woman who was crying to me during that, this period about how she's going through the same thing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get a lot of messages. So sometimes I don't see. Later on, I even shared it on my page. After like sending me, oh, advise me, I'm going through depression, this and this. Please, 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 please. Later on, she comes and insults me and tells me, you... Um, what did I say? I, I think I wrote, just like I shared a caption or something. Yeah. Then she says, oh, if you are smart, it was something unrelated to mother, like just a joke. If you are smart, you would have known not to 
get babies with someone who already has children and then I look at you now, blah, 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 you. And I was just like, this is, you are going through this, you, I see your messages, you're going through the same thing. Yeah. And you're talking like this. So I know whatever situation, she's not forgotten, she's still in the same pain and she's projecting. So it's so ridiculous that people feel like they can do that. I mean, I go through painful periods. I'm not going to be like, ah, let's go enjoy sure. someone else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah. But that's so amazing that you're able to do that. Because I yeah. feel like, especially if you're on social media, you need to have that. I mean, concentrating on the positive is amazing. Because I think humanity, our instinct is to just concentrate off. on this. On the one, like you get a hundred comments, you get one bad comment. Then yeah. One that's going to be like. That's a, uh, my husband asked me to take me over and tell me stop it. We can really on a glass. One thing, thing. and then just one, I, I get thrown off completely. And to some point, I actually stop looking at the comments and just, wow. just let it go. Especially yeah. on, on my baby, there's a time somebody wrote to me and said, Your baby's obese. obese. I had to stop feeding your baby snacks and junk food. My baby was not even eating, she was just breastfeeding. I'm like, wow. So you pour my milk. Jack. <laughs> Big wow. And, and I've, so I've seen so many moms online go through the same thing you're going through. Like, just, your baby is the cutest, plump and so cuddly. Yeah, like, I want my baby that, that pup. Why is there? My baby is. And then she's not even started walking. She's still very young. Like, what? Trust me, they used to say that about Tai Tai as well. Uh, oh, he's too fat. They would tell me that. Oh, you need to put him on a diet. All that. Yeah. But there's only one thing. And I would just be like, first of all, Shut up. This baby, she's still young. She like, but we are not feeling this baby for, any junk. But yeah, you just, just focus. You can stop on one negative. Yeah. yeah, and it, it really spoils your day. But just focus on my good. I just hope we get an, uh, a society where people will care about other people. You trust me, it will never be. There will never be. That, that society does not exist. You will always find people who just want to put you down and make you feel bad. You just have to like, you know, take charge of your own emotions and your feelings. Don't put it on we the hands. Sorry, we will cry in the background. Yeah. Come and smile at you. But I lose it. Because when they talk about Tai Tai has a very runny nose because of um, the adenoids. That is the only thing that I can never, I don't know. When anyone says anything about that, I can't control it. Yeah. I have to. But it's unfair because why would somebody attack a child who's at well? Why would you, unless you're stupid and you're a psycho. Yeah, exactly. Even whether or not, yeah, th there's a condition, right? I feel like, why would you now start talking about saying this out like that? But why? Yeah. I, because, like, you want to share something grow, and I can't keep, like, wiping my baby's nose. Okay, we are now on camera. And then they get red, and, and, yeah, and when they see anything, oh, panguza makamasi, panguza makamasi. You, you address it, but they're always still, the negatives will always be there. No matter how many times you address it, no matter how you try to explain it. In fact, the more you explain them, now they know, okay, that's where, that's where we get you. So that's where they come. But maybe if I would say something, I mean, pe people don't forget that today's be tomorrow, but we can yeah. forget that there's a world that goes around and there's a God that doesn't forget. The consequences of our being was in a waste bad. So please be kind. Be kind. You don't know what someone in gay crew, you don't know what they're uh, facing at that where they've been. I didn't know you were crying when you just told me you were hiding from a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So imagine if I was unkind to you without knowing. Yeah. You know, yeah. so please, please spread life. Spread, especially for months when you're alarming to me. Or even if you're not a mom, you will get there. You will express all those things with your children. You would want somebody to be kind. Yeah. And so yeah, please let's spread love. Let's be kind to each other. And thank you so much for guys for being vulnerable. I mean, I, I knew I was going to be there, but what's reasons? Is this like <laughs> having a tattoo? Can we get a tattoo? I'm so happy that she cries. Come on, I always want to cry. I'm just telling you, I'm like, always. Oh, you are not see me, I'm just crying. So I'm like, thank there's other people out there like we thank God. I <laughs> know you don't have 10 students. <laughs> <laughs> we have I'm spent quite a day. Yeah, yeah I've cried out. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for waking us up and coming and being vulnerable on the show. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask people, uh, but... Yeah, 100%. <laughs> if we get a bite to you, cough. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. So there you have it, guys. I think it's uh, well said and it's clear. And let's spread love. Let's be kind. Uh, you don't know what somebody's going through. So don't, don't be the one behind the uh, the keyboard insulting a mom or saying some hash things or anybody in particular. So yeah, until next time, see you and God bless.